tandem. Today we're back with an upper body hypertrophy style workout. So we're going to be doing six exercises. We're going to be dropping the weight as we start to drop those reps down. So we're going to go from 12 to 10 to 8 to 6. Doing those six exercises. Push and pull using our dumbbell, our flat bench, and our incline bench. If you don't have an incline bench, you can always use your ball and lean back against it to get that same positioning. So let's go ahead, grab our equipment, watch the preview, and let's get ready to rock and roll with this hypertrophy upper body workout. Job. So I'm going to turn my bench to 
guys can see it from this side. Once again, on our bench, let's get situated. Here we go, lift and lower. You got it. Squeeze it up, control it down. Make sure we're breathing out. Halfway there, we're at six. Five, four, three, you got this. Two, and one. All right, let's bring that bench back to our flat position. And we're gonna get ready for our triceps. I'm gonna go down on this one. I'm gonna start with my tens. Go ahead on our back. If you want to bring your feet up on the bench, you can. If you're short like I am. Or you can keep them on the floor. Arms directly above those shoulders. Here we go. Bend to 90 degrees. Press back up. Bend to 90 degrees. Squeeze it back up. 10 more. Here we go. 10. 9. You got this. 8. Squeeze it up there. Six, five, four, three, come on, you got this. Two, and one, bring them into that chest. Let's roll it up. So just like your triceps, I'm gonna step it down. I'm gonna go with the eights first. So let's lean it on over, bent over flies. Here we go, 12. 11. Remember on the flies, we're not trying to force them up there. Use those upper shoulders, our upper back, our mid back, to lift and lower. Let's go. Give me six more. Six, five, four, three. Breathe it out. Two, and one. Lift it on up. Let's bring those down. I'm going to rack those because we won't need those for our next set. So I'm going to go ahead and put the 15s away, which means it's time to go up to your next weight. Go ahead. Get those out of our way. Bring those heavier ones out. We're going to stick with the 10s and we're going to grab those 12s. So we have all of our weights situated for that next round. Let's grab a little sip of water. We're getting that good 90 seconds between each round. Let those muscles get that good recovery. We're working on strength this time, not so much like our circuit, where we're go, 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 go. We get to work. We get to go up in the weight, and we get a little bit more rest time. Set that water bottle out of our way. Let's just take a seat on our bench. Just shake those arms out. Kind of roll the shoulders, roll the neck. Take that good deep breath in. And deep breath out. All right. Let's grab that heavier weight. Let's bring it up. Let's take it onto our back. Let's get those arms situated right above the chest, strong core. Here we go, lower down. Press it up. Down and up. We've got eight more. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Turn them in. Bring them down. Let's go ahead. Let's face the front. Let's go ahead. Let's lean it over. You ready? Wide grip rows for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Come on, you got this. 2, and one, excellent 
Good job. All right. From that push to our pull. So we're going to bring the incline bench back into position. Let's grab those dumbbells. Once again, bring them in front. Let's get in that good start position. Let's bring it down. Bring them up. Bring them together. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Down and press. Down. Squeeze it up there. Let's go. Here's eight. Seven. Breathe it out. Come on. Six.
I'm going to be using my 15s and then my 12s for the bent over fly. So you choose a weight that you're going to be able to do correctly with good form, good technique. If it starts to get too heavy, drop it back down to that previous weight. Once you're stronger, then you can always go ahead and bump that weight back up. Let's go ahead. Got a little bit more time. Let's wet that whistle. Let's take a seat on that bench. Just shake those arms out. Take full advantage of having that longer rest period. All right, so we drop it down. Everything, eight. Eight reps of everything. So we're halfway there. Let's grab those weights. Let's bring them up. Let's get situated in that good start position. All right, you guys ready? Here we go. Down and up. Eight. Seven. Come on, you got this. Six. Five. Four, come on, you got this. Three, really press it up there. Two, and one, bring them in. And let's roll it on up there. Excellent job. Let's stand it up. Let's go ahead. Let's lean it over into our wide grip rows for eight, seven, come on. Six, I know they're challenging, but you got this. Four. Three, two, and one. Excellent job. Let's bring those down, bend through the knees, not through the back. Let's bring that eight climb bench. Once again. Shake them out. Let's bring those dumbbells up. So these last two are going to be challenging, they're going to be tough. So like I said, if you need to go down in your weight at any time, please go ahead and do so. Let's go ahead and bring it up. Bring it together. All right, here we go. Down. Press it up. Here's seven. Six. Five. Come on, you got this. Four. Three. Two, one more. And one. Excellent job. Bring that one down. I may stick with that 25 for first, the fourth set of those inclined chest presses. So let's go ahead. Onto our bench. Back to our pull with our single arm rows. Let's get situated. Let's go. Pull. Bring it down. Two, let's go, come on. Three, squeeze through that mid back. Four, come on. Give me two more. Two, and one. Excellent job, breathe up. We're gonna flip that bench once again. So I really want you guys to think, keep it in the back as much as you can. It's easy to try to let the bicep take over. That's why we're pulling a little bit lower, so we're getting to that meaty part of our lats and our rhomboids. Keep it out of the bicep as much as we can. Here we go. Eight. Seven. You've got this. Come on. Six. Five. Four. Three. Last two. Come on. One more. Excellent job. Woo! Let's go ahead. Let's bring it back to our flat bench. Resituate. All right. This is going to be a challenge with our 15 pounders. With those triceps. So, all right. Let's bring it up in that good start position. 90 degrees. Here we go. Squeeze it back up there. Down. And squeeze. Come on, you got this. Breathe it out. You're halfway. Come on, four more. Press it up. Four. Three, you're looking strong. Two, come on. And one. Excellent job. Let's bring those down. I'm probably going to stick with those for the four set. And so
instead of going up to 20 pounders. So I'm going to grab the 12s onto those bent over quads. Round three is almost done. As I rock in this workout, let's lean it over. Here we go. Eight, seven, six, five. Come on, you got this. Four, three. You're looking strong. Two, and one. Bring it back up there. Awesome job. So, all right, I'm gonna, gonna put the 12 pounders away. And I'm gonna go for those 15 pounders on that next round. We're gonna see how those go. So, all right, fourth round. We're bringing out the 30 pounders. Woo! No joking around this set. Here we go. Like I said, you guys choose the weight that's going to work best for where you are currently in your fitness journey. Just because I'm doing 30 pounds, you may be doing 15. You may be doing 20. You might be a little bit stronger. You might be doing 35 or 40. Choose the weight that works best for you and make the workout yours. So let's go ahead. Let's grab our sip of water. Let's wet that whistle. One last round. All right. Challenge set. It's six. It may not look pretty on that last one, but we're going to make it through. Just remember, if you need to go down and wait at any time, please go ahead and do so. It's always about form and technique and working within the parameters of where you are currently. So let's go ahead. Let's grab that weight. Let's bring it up. Let's get situated. Here we go. I'm gonna bring my feet up this time for a little bit more core support. Let's go. Here's six. Five, come on, you got this. Four. Three. Two and one, turn them in. Bring them on down. Excellent job. If you feel like you can stay with that weight for your wide grip rows, go ahead and stay with it. If you need to go back to the weight that you were for our set of eight, go ahead and grab those dumbbells. Let's go ahead. Let's lean it over. Let's go. First six. Five, you got it, come on. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those on up. So, all right, we're gonna rock those. I'm gonna go back down to my 25s for the incline chest press. Let's go ahead. Resituate that bench. Let's grab those dumbbells. Almost grabbed our 20s. Here we go. Let's go ahead. Let's take that seat. Let's bring them on up. Let's get situated. All right. The last six. Here we go. Six. Five. Come on, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Bring those down. I'm going to rock those. And I'm going to grab that single 30 pounder for our last set of single arm bent over rows. Let's get situated. Let's lean it over. Get in that start position. Let's go. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Excellent job. All right, flipping that bench. 
One last time. For six. <laughs> Let's go. Throw it up there. Five. Breathe it out. Come on. Four. Here's two. And one. Let's bring it on up. Let's put that weight away. Let's bring that bench all the way back down. Onto our flat bench. I'm going to use those 15s for the next two. For our triceps and our bend over flies. So, all right. Last 12 reps. Then we get to do our stretch. Let's go ahead. Let's bring it up. All right, here we go. Six. Five. Come on, you got this. Four. Three. Two. Come on, one more. And one. Bring those down. Okay. Last exercise. Last six. Let's go. Six. Five. You got this. Four. Three. Two. And one. Bring it on up. Let's put this away. Put our twenties away as well. Let's go ahead. Let's take a seat on our bench. And let's just take those arms. And let's just shake them. Forward and back. Get everything moving. Start to do a little bit of recovery. For the upper body. With that hypertrophy workout. If you want to go ahead. Take up your gloves. Go ahead. Take out your gloves. Throw them. We're done with them. Let's go ahead, bring those arms back. And let's open up the chest and shoulders. Let's start nice and easy. And then we're going to use our bench as a prop to help open up the front of the chest and the shoulders. And I'll also use it for our upper back and shoulders as well. So let's take two more good deep breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. One more time. Deep breath in. And exhale. So let's go ahead. Let's take our bench. Let's take it lengthwise. And we're going to kneel right beside it. We're going to make a go post with that arm. We're going to put it on that bench. We're going to go down on that forearm. That's on the ground. And we're going to look away from the bench. Turning and looking away, lengthening through the front of the shoulder, through the front of the chest. If you need to move out a little bit more, go ahead and move out a little bit more. If you need to kind of lean it back or lean it forward, just kind of play with that positioning, getting that good stretch through those pecs, through the front of the shoulders. And even though we're on our forearms and our knees, keep that strong core positioning. Take one more good deep breath in. Here we go. Deep breath in. And exhale. Let's go ahead. Let's bring it over to the other side of the bench. Once again, make that bow pose. Let's lean it over. Bring it onto that forearm. Turn and look away. Even if you don't have a bench and you're using your ball, you can always use your ball. Do the same stretch. You can use an ottoman. You could use the wall. Use whatever you have at your disposal to go ahead and re-elongate all of those muscles that we just worked in that upper body workout. Let's take one more good deep breath in here. And exhale. Let's bring it up. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bring it almost all the way up to a high incline position. And I'm going to take it on the side. So I'm going to grab the bench. 
I'm going to lean over, bend the knees into that tabletop position, kind of sitting back into those heels and stretching through the shoulders, through the chest. Just sinking down towards the floor, keeping that good spine nice and neutral. If these ones are here, they start to let that booty poke up. Keep that good neutral spine. Just opening up through that shoulder joint. If you want to go ahead and make it a little bit deeper, go ahead, bring that hand across. And sit it back and kind of lean over. And that way you can work each side individually, giving each side a little bit of extra love. You can reach that left hand over to the right, kind of sink over into the left with the hips, and really getting that good stretch all the way down that left side. Let's go ahead and bring it back to the center. Let's bend those knees, let's round it all the way up that spine. And you guys are done. Amazing job. Six exercises, four rounds through. Absolutely spectacular, strong upper body hypertrophy workout. So as always, thank you guys for tuning into the channel. Make sure to like, share, subscribe, comment below. Let us know what you guys think. Let us know what you guys want to see. And until next time, peace. Um.